This day 599 If you'd like to find out coming here or more of the Yomi, please tell me directly. Very greatly appreciate it. Today we're doing Simon Shin Tazain again. Um Sif Khafe to Sif Lamarov. Khafe, Aza Malacha Shaikhado. Wounding clothing wound. What Amalacha is it uh, under? A Raman Per Khazdin Zan Kosam the Khaibal Khayab Mishum Farik. Khaibal is liable because he is um ex- expressing, so to speak. Uh shoot uh, in other words, um expressing the blood from the its its location. Shizel called the Disha, which is a subcategory of Disha, which is um when we would express the kernel from the grain. The Khabagan came by by making wound you are expressing the blood from the flesh. Um Interesting, the Bira Lacha wants to be Mechalish, according to Rambam, if you damage flesh after death and blood came out, you also be Chayim. Doesn't sound right, but I guess if it's Disha, so, and Mepharic, maybe that would, would have to be the case. But I've got the puzzle about Smosh Shalom, the Ain Disha, El Bidule Karka, even though Rambam passes that Disha only applies to uh, things that grow from the ground. So, Rock and Mutek, Brio, Sheba Mike, Donito Lamp. Comes to exclude water creatures like uh, fish and worms. Then by Mishum Chayvel, where the wounding is not irrelevant, uh, there's no such thing as a wound. Abhem Chayvel Oif Adam Hagdein Ba'aretz, but animals and birds and people who grow on in the land, because grow on the land, because do a karka called things which grow from grow on the land. Came this to wound with Mishum Chayvel since the issue is because of expressing. Lachen Kasev the Inu Chayvel Achiyah Ba'adam Shoti Kigogeres. It's only liable if the, the blood you express is the size of a grogeris, a, a large date. The needs for a dam sodam bokamat sorosh yab grogeris. The blood congeals under the skin. It also has to be size of grogeris. Because since it's derived from a food malacha, it has to be like a sheer food malacha, to have a grogeris, which is the size of a grogeris. Bisham afarikim ba'oklim. Both the, uh, the av and the tolada are food malachas. Rajda Braj Perch Mosh Latin Pier Schneeper Shim Belchiv with the Chevel. Here, Rash gives the two interpretations by Chevel. The Chad Mishim Tobe, one of them because of dying, coloring. The Chad Mishim Mishim Mosh and the other because of slaughtering. Round Tears of Shama, which is to remove the life of some entity. He had done more than average because blood is the soul. So, anytime you wound um, somebody, it's like a small death. That wounding is a derivative of killing. And the prime category is slaughtering. Because the answer to Krogeres, according to this, is not a full food malacha. There we don't need a Krogeres, the size of a small or large date. I feel I'm at Dam Chayv, even a little bit of blood, we already are going to be liable. Chopov, Kasim Ramam Shom, the Zeshis buyer. The Mechamelazik Potter and Asian Makalka, that which we know that we say that when somebody has a mind to damage, he's exempt me the rights because he's ruining. That's true, but you can create a wound in an animal or a bird, etc. But somebody who makes a wound in a human being, even though he had a mind to damage, he's liable because by hitting another person and causing a wound. You cause yourself, unfortunately, some form of satisfaction. She is karadaita with shakhakha hamasa. By you lashing out the other fellow, your mind has been calmed down and your anger subsided. There's a commissaki, it's like fixing. Even though you don't require the blood to, that you express for him, in this case, you just require to have hit him and slam the bad. Chayav, you are liable at Kamashonu. End quote from Ramam. Zel Shita, so that's according to his Shita. She blessed him with Shane Sugu Bakai. That obviously more Shane Sugu because you're not, not removing the blood because you need the blood, but because you might have caused that guy a wound, um, uh, hurt, hurt him. So that's Quentin Ramos, Mark Shane Sugu That would be his Kai, that would be a Torah, a Torah of liability. I've read Posky Potter, because most Posky would be Potter, Shane Sugu Gufa Chavola, because you don't need the actual wound, and therefore it's Mark Shane Sugu like Rabbi Shimon is exempt. This is actually replete to the right unit of Rabbi Shimon. This issue is Malos of Yudin Rabbi Shimon by Malachi Shen Sigufa Ayn Shom. Hain Pasak Ram and Perak Yudin Yudin and Korea have a Makalka. And most of the passage is that ripping a garment is Makalka. It's ruining the Korea. But if you rip a garment in order to 
uh, uh, to to um, cause your anger to subside. Now raising the sacking the chayav is like you're fixing and reliable. Came to raise pairs with base. We're in havor lashchis when he talks about uh, burning in order to destroy. The start of Gisho Bezer Shul Chaber Kdei Zokebo. If you burn the the uh, the uh, uh, the pile of grain or the house of your friends Kdei Nokebo in order to take revenge for him, possess Shachar Chamosu, and this diminishes your anger. Chayev, you're liable. I'm Shem. For Rabbi Chaim Shem Chokim, Rabbi the Seven Shem Arkim, Chay Gav and Afra Rabbi Yehuda, Lom Chayev. Even Kol Rabbi Yehuda, Rabbi Chaim, in this case, the Heine Mes to Mikol Amar Shas Rabbi Yehuda Zem Mikrim Betakim. Truly, according to the Shas, this Kol Rabbi Yehuda is considered to be fixing. Because you're giving a, a, a satisfaction to Yitzhah. But the one I asked in this in this manner is it permitted? But time Kareem because of Chamoslo. Then we learn somebody who rips the garments in his anger. But Shober the Kule is somebody breaks Kalim in his anger. Ye benech Ovid Avod is Akum. So you should be in your eyes like somebody worships Avod is Zara. Shazam Nosher Shi Yitzhah. This is the uh, craft of the Yitzhah. Tells you. Say tells you to do this. Say Zamora tells you to do that. Fine tells you to worship Abba the Sora. I am Shum. Hare Doich Mashum Me Kodem. So that Mikra Masakim, which seems to repudiate that which is said previously that it's fixing. So the Rama Mahavshi doesn't hold that way. Rama says the Sheino Doich Adin. It's not. The Gemara is not rejecting our Lacha. El Klomer the Vadai also has his case. Just say that it's always us to get angry. I feel the call even on a weekday. You know, Shabbos making melacha, but then Shabbos is called melacha. Shabbos Kapani was talking Tavaso Hamazu Hemes. He's fixing vis a vis his repugnant desire. The Yisra Yesh was there ganking Apachol, which is of course also even on a weekday. Which was says, uh, regardless, anybody holds his Osir, because any Makalkel, the Rabbah, because any Makalkel, like Shabbos, even unless it's for food, even if it's or sorry, some other sort of Shabbos. Even though you put from Chatos, nevertheless, you it is also the Rabban. Chav Zayin. The day you show the Kamu Kamos Meshas. Several places Shas needs a Plukta. It's a Machlokas of Rida Rishim and Kalka Bchabura Lavara. When you when you are damaging by the uh, the um, the wound or by burning, where you're Chayev. It's Rabbi Yehuda Plukta Rishim Mechayev. Rabbi Yehuda Rabbi Yehuda is lenient. Says your Plukta. And Rabbi Shimon is Machayev. He says he's Machmir. He makes it says reliable. Look at she talks him. This is an uh, this is a switch of their other opinions. Rabbi Shimon Machayev Malchus Shein Tzivuk of Rabbi Yehuda, who normally says my Allah, we're not doing it for its proper purpose. You're Chayev. Pay to Makal Chabur of Avor. He says that when you Makal when you Makal Kal by a wound or by 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 burning, you are Potter. Rabbi Shimon Pay to Mein Tzivuk Gufa. Shimon says you're exempt by Malchus Shein Tzivuk Gufa. A paitem a a a He he says you're liable, by, even by makalka by mavir and chayva. Rashi says he's beyond the Rashi explains this matter of chenu at social mushmud is way to understand the sugya. Name me know that Torah chayva b'chayva. How does the Torah makes you liable when you damage when you wound? Name me know he chayva of a chayva because Torah of mila is a wound. But Torah me to us from Shabbos and the Torah came and has expressly permitted on Shabbos. These guys are clever learners from your Torah. If you're going to say that wounding is not a Torah prohibition, why is it an express limud or express derivation to allow mila? It's nothing. It's not a Torah prohibition. So also by burning. So I forbade burning to death a, 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 the daughter of a Kohen who was licentious. Normally she put to death by burning. Vas for Torah is for Shabbos. Torah says, "Now it's a burner on Shabbos." But Lama Asher why? Why Torah Asher it? For a Makalkel who it's ruining. A Shmaya of Makalkel by Var Chayv must be that so many wounds in by for by burning is Chayv. That's Rabbi Shimon Shita. Rabbi Yudas relate the Ein Gan Kilku. He says in neither case is there Kilku. The Kaim which he has named Mitzvah, since they're both considering a Mitzvah Bris Mila, and uh, putting to death somebody who's required to be put to death. Uh, uh, shop you're having a mishakin, you're fixing the avagab, the zel mlocha shen suga gufa. Aye, it's a mlocha shen suga gufa, shen suga tachas mlocha tikam, which you don't need the outcome of the mlocha, which is the um, the uh, the uh, cutting off of the orla or the um, uh, the the 
burnt body of the person who you just burnt to, uh, at the, well, it's a body, it's not body, it's not burnt, but the, uh, the corpse of the person who you just killed. Um, uh, all right, it doesn't matter. He is still, El Tikka Mitzvah is still Tikka Mitzvah. And Rabbi Yochai ben Malachash is still Gufa. And Rabbi Yochai, when you do it for, for another purpose, other than the original purpose of the Mishkan. Same as the Tikkun Shia Chai Rabbi Yochai. And also, no matter what the fixing is, little big or little small, you're Chai of Khan Rabbi Yochai. Even if you wound something in order to get blood for your dog to eat. Or you could make a fire because you need the ashes. Obviously, she is still a gufa. I mean, it's not for the main purpose, as the Mishkan Chayv reliable. Close the Rabbi Yosef, according to Rabbi Yosef. Av Rabbi Shimon, the Machashin is a gufa potter. Rabbi Shimon was the Machashin is a gufa. Is exempt. And call Tiki, and call that Tiki, that's a Mamalacha. It's not going to be a Tiki anyway, because the Tiki has to be that the Mamalacha is done for its proper purpose, for its own purpose, as in the Mishkan. Uh, reminds the Malchus and Sila Gufa. The Kol's Kol in Kol Zechiva Torah of Nonetheless Torah makes you liable. Shema Mina Mekabel Chabura Vavor Chayv. Must be even somebody who's Mekalkel when he does uh, the uh, wounding or the uh, burning is liable. Chav Ches. Lachen Rambam should post like Rabbi Yehuda Malchus and Sila Gufa. So the Rambam passes like Rabbi Yehuda. Then Malchus and Sila Gufa is Chayev. They post like Bchol B'Sorch L'Dam. Every paskin, that if you create a wound and you need the blood, and when you burn something, you require the ashes, the chayev, you're liable. If you don't need the blood or the uh, ashes, part of your exam, you should have a makako. If you're a beautiful makako, it's not chayev, you might have a makako. And it appears the Shire Pasuk is Pasuk Rabbi Shimon, but the coin is the other Pasuk Pasuk Rabbi Shimon. The Lach Shen Sul Gufa, Bam Lach Shen Sul Gufa is Potter. Chayelam Leif Sok Hefech. They should pass the opposite. The Mekab Chabura Vavara Tamid Chayev. That excuse me. Even if you're damaging when you make the wound or you're burning, you should also be Chayev. Ha'Bein Tzarek L'Dam Leifer. Even if you don't require the blood or the ashes. But even those boss can pass over Shimon, they say, yes, Mikalka Bhabura is Khaib, but only if you Mikalka Bahavara is Khaib Khaib, but only if you're going to use the blood of the ashes afterwards. Uh Vain and Mass says that Tur Shogh is low Nakti Bikin. It's true that Tur Shogh don't worry about the Torah prohibitions per se. Can I feel Makaka Osimira Bonon? And once we say that it's only Makaka's Osimira Bonon, Shu Vlo Nakti Khak Ben Dia Khiv the Rai Sul Rabana Kayodua, they don't go on to distinguish between. The Daraisa level and the Rabbana level, as is well known. That was we should know. Quran Shimon, what's one of the parameters of being Chayev for a Makalko Bechabura and Makalko Bavar? Chavtas Neishitas Rashi by the Kehu. The Rashi is definitely the case. The Rabbi Shimon Chayev and Bechabu Mavi Ava Vishin Sark Shumdor. Quran Shimon, you're liable Chayev and Mavi, even don't require anything. Why? Because uh, uh, obviously this is the exception to the rule. We have even a rochel shein to the gufa. On the other hand, same by the text of Chitzur Shon. The text is called Bezeh. Where Rabbi Shimon Gufa Yesh Pukim like Gemara Shon Bezeh. According to Shimon, there is a specifically a machlekas that the Rabbi Avos three later Rabbi Shimon Chayav Loshim Tikkun. Avos according to Rabbi Shimon, and you're liable without any fixing. We have to feel that feel Rabbi Shimon Sarek didn't contest. So you have to according to Shimon need of some sort of tikkun. Oh, take on the mitzvah, or the take on that is your fulfilling the mitzvah. Oh, should serve the kabbal for that you need for your dog or for the ashes. Zem mikrei sarich legufa. That makes it sarich legufa. Why it came and that's not mitzvah, not say spoken and zeh. Why is it making sarich legufa? Because since the mitzvah is performed in this manner, sarich hamalacha gufa shem malacha. You need the malacha for its own purpose, for the purpose of malacha through the mitzvah. Uh, on the machayv, chayv sarich adam kabbal, but but. If you do a, if you wound because you need the blood for your dog, or you burn because you need the dead ashes, that's something called Just like somebody who digs a hole because he wants the dirt, not because he wants the hole. Uh, uh, that's interesting. You're not going to have which is 
according to Shimon, except by Yisuri and Noah. So he's been to where I benefit from. She saw that you had to take a bow, and she said, okay, you threw what you thought you could uh, use it to for your dog or to cook something. He swear now she ain't well she'm dover, he swear now which are not suitable for anything else. That becomes the primary usage. And therefore, that's to be uh, 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 Lagufa. To be finished. Mika says, so Lagufa. For Zel Chigo, I have a say, Shem, if this text includes here, because there are a few of Shem in the Mechai, Ben Mechai, Ben Mechai, Ben Mechai, Ben Mechai, Blows your library when you're a kalka by chabura and avara. You come come to the matzik machas on tzich legufa. It still has to be for a, a, a pur- purposeful, for the right purposes done in the mishkan. I ain't sure. Please, uh, uh, at least that I should say somewhat. You know, like who's done mishkan. Please, the shita says the text is bechayv on mavir potur. So that's the case you bechayv on mavir. According to this, it's always exempt. Well, she ain't tzich legufa. Levai mi bechayv on mavir. So I know it's time to shvadam ba veefer. The, except when you're chayvah by Yisrael, no, which anyway the only has no other usage, and you're doing it in order to uh, use the blood, the blood or the uh, or the ashes. Chay in that case, you're liable. So we already explained this thing, which is not normally trapped. And chayvah also it's also you're not liable if you trapped it. But also, but nevertheless, it's a rabbinic prohibition. Moshe Shani by Brisa, davar shemina nito chayv, something which which is normally trapped, you're liable if you trap in Shabbos. Shame no need so if you don't normally trap it, then potter it's it's awesome. Right, but, it's, but it's not a key of the rice. Can Lash Ram is so percute. His language of the Rambam had side dover shame but me not say that. Somebody who, who who traps something which is not normally trapped, can go and him, such as locusts. He's in Syrian, Vitushim, these are other types of insects and uh, uh creepy crawly things, the paroshin, chaisabelu, I raise the potter exam Akanoshana. The whole point of the Shabbos. Anytime you say "put on Shabbos," "put on Avos," we know it means it's, you, you're exempt if you do it, but you're not allowed to do it. Because in Ati Yishmi Nisa, because there's a Gzeira Azar Abonon, lest you come to trap something which is actually a species which is trapped. V'chein Parush, and therefore a Parush Yakina Shkher, which is a black louse, Hakofetzis, which jumps the coin Fale, and uh, when I was in Shabbos, they used to call they used to drop from the ceilings uh, at, at night. So, and they used to call them San Khalim, because they, uh, they were paratroopers dropping from the ceiling. And if you got them somehow in your clothing or somehow uh, you know, inadvertently crushed them, they smelled really, really bad. Uvarvis Korean Bargut, also Tsurim Rabbanon. So even this parosh, you're not allowed to um, trap Midra Rabbanon. The Torah ain't got Seda, of course, Midra Rice, so there is no Seda. They ain't mean so it's not a species which is normally trapped. The only observe okso, but if it's in his on his flesh and it's hurt and it's and it's um it's um it's it's um stinging him, mutually love you can take it off, lash you can toss it away. The Malcolm Sara will cause it, I better not make the whole uh, 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 stand on there in the corner place where there's sar. You you saw a slow horka, but you should not kill it, just toss it away. For the high, when you kill your high, mean they shoot part of the rubber because it is a, 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 a creature which produce, reproduces, uh, the ain't a bomb, is there, it does not spontaneously generate from perspiration. And therefore, uh, therefore, it's a creature like any other creature. And you're also not allowed to rub it in your hand. Because you might come to kill it. But Litla, only to take it off of you, he tearily allowed me to because of anguish. And if it's on your garment, it's not, not, uh, uh, by you, also come legally. Now you're allowed to remove it. The Asians, some say, if it's on your clothing on your on the inside, or on your pants, inside pants, or or where in the socks, it, it, it jumped into there. Rash, uh, you're allowed to take her away and toss it. Can a minute, a minute is actually to take her away and toss it. The, the, and the other those who say even when it's standing on your flesh as long as it's not uh, 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 stinging you it's uh, you can't remove it however is to remove it but the a louse which uh, uh, which uh, moves around which you find in your head and in worn out garments mutil horga you have to kill it because according to Chazal she ain't a brie of you bought me is there because I believe it did not reproduce sexually. It, it, it spontaneously generated from uh, perspiration. And therefore, it wasn't a true animal. And therefore, you're allowed to kill it. 
Um, of course, uh, the question is nowadays when we know that they do reproduce sexually, whether the, the, the halach has changed or not, and that's a fascinating dis- discussion, which uh, t- Mr. Mio has been interested piece in it, um, but not for now. Um, the um, Mr. Brewer says, a, a parush, even though it's not part of a rubber, uh, since uh, uh, since it grows comes from the ground, and not from I guess perspiration like louse, so therefore it has life force as opposed to louse. Which is the kiddush habit or is learning that it is part of a rubber, which I'm sure is the case. Bialaka writes that uh, the several rishonim allow you to kill a parosh on Shabbos. I'm sorry, not kill you. They allow you to remove. The parosh on Shabbos from your clothing, etc., like the Roshan says, and the world is relies on on this. Nevertheless, he says your Eshemayim should be machmir and not rely on this to actually physically remove the remote of parosh if it's not absolutely necessary. Um, Mishabura says that, uh, uh, yeah, okay, Lamlav. Mikon ka maf let kelov, mikinim. Nevertheless, somebody who is, um, is cleaning his clothing out of the lice, layer game, we should not kill them. And the moment beyond all, he just rub, rubs them around in his hands, the zorkin, and tosses them away. Mishum the the bisham would see and gam paroshim because we in your clothes, so it's possible to have the paroshim. Because we in shem not throw our rokin, we're afraid, and we make it say that you shouldn't kill the lice, lest you come to kill the paroshim. Uh, uh, I'm after rosho. So if you're combing out lice in your hair, mutal are going to be allowed to kill the, those lice. And the head, you don't find those paroshim. So Shoram Perkid Aleph Din Beis Ram says the Ramoshim crawling things, shame with insects and such. Shame part of a rabbi mizal and keva, which are multiplied through male and female uh, coming together. Are they also mean how far come a paroshim? They 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 grow from dirt like paroshim. Or as some, if you come on Shabbos. Turn being behind was like you kill a large animal of any sort. Avramasim, but uh, the insect so does make one which spontaneously generate from uh, the animal dung. Uh uh or from fruit, which went rotten, and similar things, similar sources. Uh such as the worms which uh, are, are uh slaughter flesh, uh and the worms inside uh, uh legumes. Oregon parts of your are exempt because they're not considered to be growing, for, they're not part of a rubber. Mutarach is a kinim, but Shabbos and Asia, and Boyim and Isaiah, they're allowed to kill the lives of Shabbos because they come from perspiration, outcome of genre, and quote from the Rambam. The Yesh Kayan Kshosh Machlik, there are three gradations here. Chi of Chatos, things which are, this is the rice of Mamash, you don't have a Chatos. Potter of Osir, things which are also Rabbaran, but you're exempt from a Chatos. Mutar Chatchila, and things which are. Mutter, even the goat deliberately, all these barbers as Simon Shin, Yuchesi, Adishma, this is going to explain again later on. Um, the Mishnah says after you remove the lice, even though you're not allowed to kill them, you can toss in the water. Because that you shouldn't kill them is a zigzera, and they, they didn't make an additional because they're not even to throw them into the water. But uh, in Paroshim, was the possibility to arise, so it's also uh, to throw it into the water because that's the Mishnah like killing them. Mishnah writes that the, uh, the Taz says that. Uh, if you are removed the lice from your flesh, plus your garments, you're allowed to kill them, um, and, um, because um, uh, it's not you're not going to find usually paroshim inside your garments. So therefore, there's no reason making zayra there. 